Hey guys, it is no worse near morning. <laughs> it is 5.07, it looks, 5.07-ish. <laughs> uh, in the afternoon, let's see here. This morning I went to see Jessie at my mom's. I took them to Walmart because she had to pick up a few things. And um, I wanted to see him because I know I wouldn't get to actually you know, bring him home until tomorrow evening. So I missed him and I wanted to go see him. And um, he didn't want to come home anyways. So <laughs> he's happy where he's at. Uh, I went to the post office. I got some mail I'm about to show you. And I dropped off a ton of orders. What else did I do today? I think that's it. I went to the bank to get some money out to take to the craft fair with me tomorrow. That's it. I've been home ever since. Um, I crocheted a little bit earlier, which there's a clip I filmed. <laughs> I'm working. I was working on an octopus that I had already started. Um, I wasn't gonna work on anything else for the craft fair just because, like, it's the night before, so I want to just like chill out. But uh, this earlier today, I did get everything together in the living room, so that means Devin can load it tonight into the car. And um, I made sure everything had prices on it. Everything is priced individually. Every single item that I'm gonna try to sell has its own price on it. And have an inventory. I, got, I put some business cards in my bags. I finished that jellyfish and got it in there. I, I did all the little last minute tweaks and made sure everything um, was ready. And I made a list of what I need to do tonight and tomorrow before I leave. And yeah. So I've been sitting in there watching a ton of YouTube videos. I've been watching them ever since De Devin left. I watched them. Um, while I was crocheting, while I was doing craft fair stuff, while I was cooking dinner and everything. And, uh, I just stopped, um, now because I knew I needed to film a little. I haven't filmed at all today. Other than that little clip of me crocheting. And it's just because I was trying to calm, you know, like, relax today. Not calm down, but, like, relax. Um, before tomorrow. But anyways, I got some mail today and I wanted to share it. So, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, first, um, a viewer named Jean sent me a bunch of material. She, um... She messaged me earlier this week and told me that it was coming, so I was excited about it, waiting for it to come. And I'm going to just show it to you guys real fast. I got it kind of separated by what types it is, so I'll show you these two These two first. Oh, God, they're so heavy. This is like the canvas material. She, um, you know, she didn't know if I could use it or not, but I definitely can. I've made project bags with this kind of material before. Uh, it's just, basically, it's just thicker than, like, the cotton. But she sent me this one. I don't even know what to call this one. What kind of print this is. <laughs> Floral-ish, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. And then this big one. This is really heavy. It's a lot of material. Pretty roses. And then she sent me some Christmas prints. I have them all separated so I could show you better. <laughs> Really, this is going to be really handy in a few weeks because I got a whole bunch of material over there already for um, Christmas bags, Christmas and winter bags. That's the last update that I'm going to be doing this year. I'm going to start working on it uh, maybe next week or the week after that and uh, work into November <laughs> on Christmas bags and upload a bunch at once. And then after they're gone, that's the last of the project bags I'll be making until January next year because I want to take it, uh, November and December off from uh sewing unless it's stuff i want to sew for here um until the new year but yeah so she sent me this one this would be a really pretty liner it's snowflakes and it's um uh, gold looking and it feels like a couple yards i don't know i haven't unfolded them <laughs> but and then this one will be another good liner and it's just uh red with gold lettering that says merry christmas a whole bunch of times and then there's this one is red with snowflakes and little dots and for some reason these snowflakes make me think of cookies they kind of look like iced cookies i don't know if that's what they're supposed to look like or not but that's what they remind me of and then there's this these last two are sparkly i love sparkly this one's so pretty this is like a evergreen branch with uh pine cones <laughs> and it's glittery and there's a lot of that there too and then the last one's super de duper glittery the last Christmas one. And it's Snowman. And it's so cute. It's super glittery. It's got them sledding and doing snow angels and on inner tubes. Just really cute little snow people. So cute. And then these are the regular prints. <laughs> They're just cute giraffes. Which someone asked me if I could make giraffe bags recently. It's been a month or so. I can't remember, but now I will be. <laughs> Making uh, at least 
two maybe. And then this one. This is this is a couple yards. It feels like. Hello, kitty. And then one of my personal favorites. <laughs> Olaf. I can't wait for the second Frozen to come out. It comes out in November, I think, and I want to go take Jesse to see it. And I want to see it by myself, anyways. And then she also sent two little bundles of fat quarters. And one was like um, lemon summery themed and one is dogs. So these are all fat quarters. It's a lemony one. And this one came with it. And I might actually, instead of making bags with these, um, I might, because I wanted to start making my own um, microwave bowl cozies. I might make some out of this. Because um, I want to. <laughs> and then dog ones, just dog bones, and paw prints, and this red one it says woof woof, and it's got dog stuff on it, and then this one, really pretty, I like this one, and then one with actual dog on it. So I might, um, I found a few little um, sewer sewing patterns, it's like beginner, uh, just cute little things. One was the bow cozies that I want to make anyways because I want some in here because you know we yeah anyways <laughs> you know what the fuck and then I found one I know that like um Billy makes the potato envelope things to nuke potatoes in but I found a pattern today while I was looking on Pinterest for uh, one of those that's for tortillas and I thought that was really cool because um, we eat a lot of tacos and we make a lot of sandwich rolls and stuff and I don't really like to heat up my tortillas but Devin does his so um I thought I'd make a couple of those just for here and, uh, you know, basically just to make them. And then I found some other uh, cord tamers that I'd like to make and some coasters and stuff like that that I just want to, I just want to get more into sewing and try to get better at it. And uh, the only way to do that is to make stuff. <laughs> but that's all the fabric I got from her and I super appreciate that. Thank you so much for sending it to me. And I can't wait to make the Christmas bags. There are so many prints now that I have. I do want to find, I'll probably go to Joann's and find some character prints for Christmas. Like um, the Grinch and Peanuts uh, Christmas one. And maybe some Disney ones or something. Um, but for just like generic Christmas prints, I should be covered. Because <laughs> I've had quite a few people send me some material, which I'm super happy and excited about. And uh, I got liner material. I got some that my mom gave me, and I had some that I already had, and um, I already have a bunch. So um, I just need to get different color drawstring uh, cords, which they got at Hobby Lobby. I always buy black and white because they usually go with everything. But for the Christmas ones, I might try to get some blues and reds and greens also. And um, zippers. I got a bunch of zippers still, but I might need to get some more, order some more so that I have more Christmassy color ones. Anyways, my next package <laughs> came from um, a viewer named Katie, and I didn't know this one was coming. Like, I knew it was coming, because I seen it on my tracker, but I didn't know what it was. I knew the material was coming, and she told me that it was material, but I didn't know about this one, and this one made me super excited. And she basically said um, that she just wanted to send this to me and Jesse as, like, a thank you for um, my pattern, Hocus. Uh, her sister really enjoyed Hocus, and uh, she made her two of them, I think, it's one already <laughs> and she has them on her mantle which is really cool it's crazy to think that something that I designed is living at other people's houses it's the way, same way I feel about my bags I was telling Devin because I've had I've had bags go to Australia to Canada all over the US some to the UK and um, well like and we we're uh, blah, 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 why am I forgetting this word? Jerusalem. <laughs> One went to Jerusalem, which is so cool. And uh, we were talking about how it's so cool that something I made is just like floating around out there in the world <laughs> and being used. And it's just really neat to think uh, that my stuff's out there like that. But anyway, same thing with this. But she sent a bunch of goodies for me and for Jesse. And uh, one of them was pins and I already broke into it because I needed a pin earlier. But here's the box. I'll set it down. No particular order. She had it packaged. This is actually what the fabric came in. She sent uh, this stuff in like a Miller bag, but I it's already been ripped into. <laughs> so she sent Jesse a coloring thing. It's one of those felt coloring things. It's two pages, I think. Yeah, he'll love this. <laughs> and um, she said that she sent the stuff for Jesse to distract him so that I can crochet. So this will work. He loves coloring and anything artsy. So he got that. She also sent him a DVD of Scooby-Doo 
which he'll love because he loves Scooby-Doo. We watched the old original Scooby-Doo. We have the first two seasons seasons on DVD and we watch it all the time. <laughs> and I'd like to get the rest of them, but they're kind of expensive. It's weird how those old TV shows cost so much. Um, when it's not like it costs more to put them on DVD than it does anything else. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> but these are the pens. I, I took out a pink one. And I love color, colorful pens. I always go for, um, instead of black and blue, I like to go for colorful ones. And especially pink, because pink is one of my favorite colors. So I hack, hatched into this. And a lot of the thank you cards in my orders that were sent out today are in pink ink. <laughs> and then she sent some uh, notebooks, which I can never have enough notebooks. I forget everything unless I write it down. And that's not even like a an understatement. It's 100% true. I forget anything if I don't have it written down. So I tend to carry notebooks with me all over the house. If you come to my house at any given time, every flat surface has a notebook on it or some sheets of paper with notes scribbled on it. And I think it, I think I might have like a mild form of attention disorder because one, I'm always in fast motion and I always have to be busy and two, uh, I have to write everything down or I forget any, every, every little thing. But anyways, all that to say, she's in some notebooks. <laughs> one's got a dream catcher on it. And this one's got a llama, maybe. It's real glary because it's in plastic. I can't remember which one has the banana ears. I think it's the llamas that have the banana ears. And then she also sent a writing tablet, which is because she knows that I like writing letters. So she sent me a writing tablet so I can write letters. And then she sent a Halloween card, an unused one, so like I can use it, which I'm probably not gonna do. <laughs> probably gonna keep it and have it set in somewhere to make it look, you know, cute. But it says, boo, creep it real, trick or treat, instead of keep it real. <laughs> Pretty funny. And then this little color thing for Jesse. I haven't bought him this one, but uh, I thought about it. He has, he. I bought him the pumpkin one, the jack-o'-lantern, and it's in our living room. And then he got another one in the mail that he hasn't done yet. Only, I kind of keep some of these things up for when he needs to be distracted or calm down and then I pull these out. So I got a few of these that people sent and I got a couple that's paint. And then in my uh, tote bag, it's not hanging up behind me, is it? No, it's in the living room. Um, I have some of those little, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like little kits that you just rip into like when you're in the car and it's got uh, little books and stickers and stuff in it. I keep some stuff like that on hand all the time for when he needs to be distracted. She also sent a Halloween sign, <laughs> which I'm excited about because I don't have this one. And I don't even think my Dollar Tree has this one, but I got to figure out somewhere to hang it. <laughs> but it says trick or treat. And then on the bottom, it says which way to the treats, but it's which like the person. It's pretty funny. And then I think everything else is yarn. Okay. So she sent me three balls of red heart stripes. And let's see here. This one's called Polo Stripes. I don't think I have any of this one. I got a bunch of this the other day, but I don't think it was this color. And then this one is Parrot Stripes, which this should be like Peacock, I think, instead of Parrot. <laughs> but, uh, because it looks more like a Peacock to me. And then this is a Cool Stripes, which I did get three or four or five of these the other day, so this can go with that and make a big project. And these are my most favorite ones that she said. <laughs> I've never seen these ones before. But this, she sent me two balls of Karen Simply Soft. And the color is Rainbow Bright. Uh, and it's way brighter than that in, in life. It's really bright and pretty. It's gloomy here. It looks like it's going to rain. But I'm so excited about these ones. I can't wait to use these. I have no idea what I'm going to make for with them. But um, I'm definitely going to use these ones first. But yeah, I have it all in this box because I opened it in the living room. And it was all over the couch. And I had to throw it all in here to bring it in my craft area. And now i got to put it all where it needs to go. But yeah. And the letter. I can keep all that. I keep all my letters. Anything that you guys send me. Any notes and anything I keep. I have it. A lot of it stacked over there because I like to talk about it first. And then it goes into my bedroom. I have a, a hollow book. You know, it's like a book, but it's not a book. It's a box. <laughs> and they're all stacked in there. And then all my Christmas cards from the last two years are in my um, Christmas box because I like to look at them every year. And some of them I actually hang up uh, around the house even though they're a few years old because I like I think they're pretty and I like to look at them. So that's one thing I can't wait this Christmas season is to get more Christmas cards from you guys. I love getting Christmas cards. Yeah. 
and I've been loving postcards lately. I've gotten a lot of postcards and that's so much fun to just get a little note from someone uh, to know that they were thinking about me and thought about sending me a cool picture from wherever they're from. It's cool to just uh, see like local landmarks in different people's areas. And yeah, that's random. I need to buy some postcards from here and send them to people. I don't even know where I'd buy them at though. Probably the um, the chamber place that I can't forget, I can't remember what it's called. The chamber of commerce or whatever, but that, that's where they keep all like the city maps and stuff here. So I could probably go there and get some postcards and then go to like local landmarks and buy them. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see here. I don't know if I have anything else to talk about today because I didn't do anything. I was gonna fix Jesse's Halloween costume, but I didn't get around to doing it. Um, all I gotta do is trim the arms and the legs and then sew the decorative part at the bottom up higher to make it to where he can wear it without me having to like roll up the sleeves and stuff. I did it last year with his Jason, uh, the Red Ranger costume and this year he's gotta be Billy the Blue Ranger and yeah. Let's see here. I'm still waiting on the Nick Crate video because I'm waiting to hear back from Nick Crate. Um, I think because of that big sale that's going on, they're probably getting a lot of messages right now. So it may be a little while, but uh, what I want to do is if they give me that other one they sent me, I'm going to do a Nick Crate video and then give both of them away. So there'll be two winners um, for that. I'm this close to 5,000 subscribers. I'm at 4,900 and something. So when I hit 5,000, I'm planning on having a giveaway. I don't know if it stopped filming. <laughs> My phone just popped up and said it was almost dead. Um... If you wonder why I spaced out there, that's because of that. <laughs> it says it's still recording, so hopefully it is. And yeah, so tomorrow morning I gotta get up early for the craft fair, get everything together and go, unload, set up my table. I'm gonna take a picture of it before I set it, or after I set it up. And then I'll, I might take a little video, like, span of it. Um, and then I'm gonna sit around and probably crochet. I'll take some easy projects. Um, before the craft fair even starts because it doesn't start until 10 but I want to get there early because I want to try to get a good table spot um, it's all indoor and it was supposed to rain but I think it's moved out now on the weather app it just shows that it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow so I'm hoping that it's decent weather and I'm gonna sit around and wait until they open the doors and people start coming in and then I want to stand up because I read that you're supposed to stand up and I did take y'all's advice I'm leaving the pumpkin tablecloths at home. I'm going to keep them and still use them because they're adorable. But I bought a solid black one and it's a long one. So I'm going to put a solid black one on my table so that my amigurumis pop against it. And um, what else? I think that's the only major thing that, and the standing up thing to stand up the whole time and like communicate with people instead of sitting behind my stuff hiding, which is what I want to do, but I can't do that. Um, I crocheted really quick. I, um, business card holder. I tried to buy one, but I couldn't find any at any of the stores. I see them all the time when I'm not needing it, but now that I need one, I couldn't find one. So I was like, well, I'm just going to crochet one. <laughs> so um, I was going to make up my own pattern, but I didn't have the time. So I just uh, I looked it up. I Googled it or whatever and found one and uh, whipped it up real fast. And I'll show that to you later. I don't want to go get it. It's in Minecraft for stuff, but it fits my business cards. And like I said earlier, I I took 20 bags on the top 20 bags and put business cards in them so that if people buy it, I can, you know, put their stuff in there and they have my business card, but I'm also going to have them set now. And then if I make more than 20 sales, I will put more in the bags. We're going to go tonight when Devin gets off work to get some ice for our cooler so I can take some waters and drinks with me and some kind of snack because I don't eat until one or two in the evening. So I should be good while we're while I'm there until like the middle of the craft fair. But I need to take something that is clean that I can eat, you know, like little bites quickly um, in between people. And um, yeah, I can get some actual food when I get home that evening. I'm not worried about that. Today I actually didn't eat until three and I wasn't even hungry. And I thought it was weird. Uh, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, did I eat something today? And I was going through my head. And up until then, all I had had was a bottle of water with a f an energy flavor in it. And, um, which only has like five calories. So I know that didn't fill me up. And then I had a glass of tea, but it was unsweet tea. <laughs> so it was just tea. Uh, it wasn't like 
a sugar tea full of calories or anything so I was like why am I not hungry but I'm trying to learn not to eat just because I think I need to eat or because I want to eat I'm gonna I'm trying to do better with eating when I'm actually hungry and I wasn't hungry so I didn't eat I cooked dinner and everything um didn't need any of it until about an hour later and then I just ate a little bit of it because I wasn't super hungry I was a little hungry and I mostly just wanted it because it's potatoes and I could always eat potatoes but um so I ate some potatoes and now I'm gonna drink some water because I'm starting to feel thirsty and uh, I do have an apple in there that I've been eyeing. I wanna eat that apple. <laughs> I love apples. And I found out that my favorite apples now are Envy apples. And in the tart and sweet scale, they're like in the middle. I used to always love um, Golden Delicious apples, but now uh, they're too sweet for me. They're Jesse's favorite. He always wants that kind. And we always eat apples. I mean, Jesse's always eating apples. <laughs> and Devin's favorite are Red Delicious, which I hate. I cannot stand Red Delicious. But, um, so Envy apples are my new favorite. And I've just noticed lately that my taste is changing a lot. A lot of things I used to love, I don't even eat anymore. And um, it's just kind of weird. I told Devin, I was like, I think I finally hit adult. And now I'm starting to eat more like an adult. But it's probably a mental thing too, where I'm trying to be healthier. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm glad, you know. Because uh, like one, one of my... Uh, worst things was potato chips. I used, I could sit around and eat potato chips like all day and late, Last while I haven't been eating them at all and I actually got some out the other night and Started eating them and they just they weren't as good as they usually are So I ended up putting them back in the bag and just didn't eat anything So I guess that's good stuff, but I don't know <laughs> Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and quit talking. I've been talking for 20 minutes uh, Today's vlogtober was boring <laughs> I had intentions to film a lot of stuff but I was out with my mom and Jesse so I uh, forgot I don't like wearing my glasses because it glares tomorrow there will be a video probably but it won't be until tomorrow night I would imagine because after the craft fair ends at 5 but obviously you don't shoot people out of there at 5 so once the last people leave um, I'll load up my stuff and then I gotta come home and unload everything and then I gotta go to um my mom's and pick up Jesse, and then later that day I have to go and get Devin for, oh wait, no, he's not working tomorrow, he's off tomorrow, he'll be home already, <laughs> I forgot about that, but um, yeah, and Sunday, this Sunday, it's not supposed to rain or anything, we're going to the pumpkin patch and possibly the glow, I told Devin, I was like, we can do it, because the pumpkin patch opens at 1, so if we go to the pumpkin patch, it's been a couple hours there, get our pumpkins and everything, then we can hit the interstate and go up to Nashville and go to the glow. Cause it opens at seven, but you can get seven, seven thirty, eight, eight thirty, nine, nine thirty tickets. So I was like, we can do both of them in one day if we, uh, if it doesn't rain and stuff. So I'm hoping that Jesse's excited about that. I'm excited about that. But I talked for another minute, so I need to go because I got a few more things to do around the house. I got to clean the kitchen, <laughs> and I got to get rid of the wire hangers because I got a whole bunch. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, ignore the messes if you see any. In there on the couch is the new plastic hangers I bought and a big stack of wire ones. Um, that was a mission I gave Devin for tomorrow. I told him a few things I wanted him to do while I was gone. But I think I'm just going to go do that because I'm bored. I don't have anything to do. I don't really want to crochet right now. I'm kind of just chilling, you know. I do have a load of laundry in the dryer I need to address. But, uh. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go strip all his clothes off of wire hangers and switch them out for plastic ones. He's the reason there are wire hangers here. I don't know if y'all got that from the other video. Because I would never bring wire hangers into the house. But he got a whole bunch of uniforms from work one time. And they all came with wire hangers. And I had been telling him and telling him to get rid of them because I hate them. <laughs> and he didn't. So the other day when I was at the thrift store, they had a bunch of hangers for like a dollar. So I bought them all and now I'm going to switch them out. But I'm going to hop off here and get that done. And relax the rest of the day. Maybe watch some friends or something. And yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night after the craft fair. Oh, I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. Oh, I forgot something. Marsha, this is for you. This is Vlogtober for today. That's all I could do. Sorry.